Saturday, y'all. It has been a few days and I'm home. I'm gonna do a little DIY. So got this like textured spray paint. And so I've had these little like vases, these three. They were my first decor pieces that I ever bought. Bought them at Hobby Lobby. But within like the first couple weeks of having one, I dropped one. It's like super beat up. Just like whatever, I glued this one back together because they were expensive. So I've kind of outgrown them, but I don't want to donate them because they have this memory attached. So I just kind of wanted to spray paint them and see how they turned out. <laughs> Let's go fix some like broken vases. <laughs> We're in the porch. Just have them down here. I should probably do this outside. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to improve my setup here. So <laughs> let's do that. <laughs> I feel like that works. That's always just gonna fall down. Oh, it's crooked. I think I can, I think I can spray that. Okay, well, we're gonna shake this. Okay, I lied. I think I'm gonna paint them a solid color first. This, excuse the mess. I am kind of doing a refresh back here. Our porch is so cute, but it, it's not clean, but it's like 37 degrees today, so. All right, let's try this again. I'm gonna move this cardboard box out because it gets really paint dusty. I'm not a fan, so I'll be back. <laughs> oh my gosh, it is so beautiful out here. Okay, I'm just gonna switch you all right here. We're done holy crap okay hold on so i did put another coat on the pottery let's look at it Eek, get off my finger i think what i'm gonna do here just lay that on its side oh come on baby. i'm trying to see that some of these this one has a little texture because i did spray paint it with that other stuff first okay let's get to it this like speckle paint and it's like really goopy I don't know how that's gonna work okay I'm just going back in for a second oh here comes Sully hey I bet you too here is what they ended up looking like so I like it it's not terrible I mean it looks better than what it did I didn't do the bottoms I just don't think I would do this project again the paint was super goopy and maybe it was just that it was like super cold but I had a really hard time spraying them and getting like an even coat. So here's the broken one and you can still see where it is broken kind of you can see a line through there but it looks so much better than what it was. I was editing this video and realized that I don't do a good transition at all. I just do my vases and then I jump right into my next project. So now we are going to jump into my next project, which is a $1 cabinet I found at the Goodwill outlet. And I'm gonna transform it into something beautiful. So now I'm gonna go into the garage and get that cabinet so you guys can see it. Oh, messy. Oh, it's right there. Sweet. Here's my cabinet. I think it's veneered. It was a dollar. 
One dollar. Wheels, so I think I'm gonna go get legs. I don't need wheels. It's not in good condition. Let's go. So here's the cabinet. We got some cute little gold knobs. The top is pretty rough. The top actually opens up like this. On the inside, we have all these shoe shelves. So I don't think I'm actually gonna touch the inside except for cleaning down here. Anyway, it was a dollar. Looks pretty good. I was gonna just chop this part off, but now I'm thinking that I might go get some legs. I'll leave it on because it kind of adds like a fancier touch. Hmm. Yeah, I just have to glue this. Cause this kinda but I have to make sure that dries out. Oh, how did I? This was a dollar, so we gotta do some rehabbing. all over the place with these DIYs. So I showed that cabinet that I just pulled out of our garage. And then I was like kind of brainstorming like what to do. So I think the outside, I'm gonna paint like a dusty yellow. So kind of like something along the tone of this. And then on the inside, I'm gonna use this wallpaper to like spruce up any parts that don't look great. And I am so excited now. Bro, I got this on clearance at Target. Actually, no, I didn't get it. I got it at Savers for $4.99. <laughs> This is like $35 a roll at Target. Here's the pattern. It's very bohemian. Our porch is like extremely bohemian, um, very earthy. And I feel like this is an earthy yellow color that will look really good. Cool. Glad I could share my cabinet with you and my ideas. So while I'm waiting for this to dry, I'm going to sand the two cabinet fronts down just slightly sand because I'm going to plan on painting them so I'm going to do the uh, top and the sides folded on the lawn chair in all the colors summer And I don't know how to do it. Here goes me measuring, and then we'll see if I even film the cutting process. I might be too embarrassed. So I drew a line here. I'm so scared. So I drew this. So I ran into a, a bump. I like really want to saw the legs off that cabinet, but. Uh, can't find my saw. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take a natural pause and go to the hardware store to get some furniture legs, some paint. <laughs> I'm a little bummed, I won't lie, because it's still light out and I wanted to get this done when it was light out, but I can't find the saw anywhere. Five minutes later. Changed my mind. I was looking for the circular saw one more time and realized that I can do this with a jigsaw. I know, Sully. My feet are freezing, my hands are freezing. I don't really like want to do this right now, but I'm gonna. And I also have to find an extension cord. Mm. Complications. Memories Washed in every shade of green In all the colors Some Oh 
Okay, so it's not perfect, but I think it will do. It's a shoe cabinet, so like, I think we're good. So now I'm gonna do the other side. <laughs> Bathing in the turquoise blue, losing track of time with you. Another beach pie sunset. It's been a bit, I'm still in my floral turtleneck. I am taping things off and we're gonna get priming on these boards. Right now I have the top and the two drawer fronts. I'm gonna get painting. We're to painting. Everything's taped. I only taped on the back side. And now I'm gonna paint and then I'll show you the color that I picked. And now there's something in the air and a sparkly shimmer on our skin. color sample and now we're gonna paint these it's been a bitch so run into some issues but it's pretty late and hopefully I can figure this out okay, so here's the color that I chose it is Valspar which is from Lowe's my hands are so good mm, and it's nice and yellow it actually looks a little different on camera irrelevant and nobody is gonna care that I have to say this I was gonna look so tired I was gonna fill these holes I'm not so I'm just gonna fill in and make them look prettier but I'm not gonna fill in the holes why there's no reason I look like I've just woken up Sweet girl. To the wallpapering stage. It should only take about two seconds of your time. <laughs> Guys, this wallpaper is so cute. I've only done like the tiniest bit, but like it's so cute. Okay, just had to say that. So like the best part is that I was a little worried this is and this still may not stick, but if there's bubbles you can't tell because the pattern is so busy. And that's my favorite part. <laughs> this is also like really high quality wallpaper target. Good job. So I got the first one done. How pretty. very long day of tap lips I'm to the point where I need to put the backing onto the back of the thingy and I'm a little nervous just because 
the wallpaper might not be doing exactly what I want it to do, but I'm just gonna use my brad nailer. So I'm gonna put the wallpaper onto the cabinet. <laughs> I can't talk. terrible such a small detail but I painted all the tops yellow and then this is the inside I still have to put two dowels back down there I bought the wrong furniture legs and I thought I could make it work so I cut off the bottom of these but they're crooked they also look like chess pieces they're all crooked don't know how to uh. so I'm gonna put them on and I'll go from there I'm gonna like crack up when I turn this over just because the legs are so uneven. I'll figure out how to fix this, but yes. I made a boo-boo. Laura even was like, you can't cut those, it will be uneven. And I was like, that's fine. I have a plan. I made it work, <laughs> kind of. I finished everything, finally. It took an eternity, but it's a nice, bright, sunshiny day, and I have finally moved the yellow cabinet into our cute little bohemian porch. Now it's time to show you the results. Let's see. Them. 